Good morning and welcome back. In this session, we solve. Now we will under we will try to understand one more application of Fibonacci series that is searching for a key in a list of numbers. So as you know, Fibonacci series has many applications. Searching is one of the applications. Given an array or list of numbers from ten to hundred. The task is to find whether 90 is part of the list or not. If 90 is a part of the list, our search function will, will return will return the position. Position is say, if it is zero, this is eight. Position is eight. If it is not found, returns minus one. Okay. It uses Fibonacci. Fibonacci a generator function. Okay, the first step is step number one is step number one is step number one is to find is to find a Fibonacci number which is at least equal to which is at least equal to the size of list size of list okay. for example for the given problem size is size is 10 the fibonacci number which is at least equal size of the list is what are the fibonacci numbers 1 1 2 3 5 5 8 so 13 so this is first fibonacci number second fibonacci number third fourth fifth sixth seventh so seventh Fibonacci number is at least equal to size of the list. What is that? 13. Okay. Now, so we have Fib M. Fib M is 13. Fib M minus 1 is 8. And Fib M minus 2 is 5 okay now say so we we start we pick up we pick up i which is which is just less than just less than <coughs> array five okay you pick up a number you pick up a number in the list it's just less than it what is that number so this is zero one two three four okay that number is 50. that number is 50. okay that is array array i okay and we compare we compare k with this if key is greater than it, in our case, what is key? Our key is 90. What is this? This is array, array 4. What is array 4? 50. In our case, yes. Okay. Then, <clears throat> then we shift. We shift i. So, then we will not search. Not search in the range, in the range 10 to 10 to 10 to 50. Okay, we will focus now. We will focus now in the range, in the range 50 to 100. Okay, next again. <coughs> We will we will change i to next higher position next position next Fibonacci number position okay and it continues you will understand it when you look at the code I am writing okay now 
So, given a list, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and say 100. This list is given. List has 10 elements, so everything is fine with it. Now, we are switching for say 90. Okay, so let us call let us call fib search protein. Inputs are the array and and the key. Okay, now fib search define define Fibonacci search. Actually, this is one of the applications of divide and conquer also. Okay. Now, that n is number of items in the list. It is better to store this in a variable n because we, we may need it many times in our routine. Next. So, I want a Fibonacci number which is just more than or which is just equal to or just more than the size of the list. So m equal to zero. While while Fibonacci number m the term is less than size of the list, then you take next term. You take next term. Okay. Now so let us start with let us start with minus one, which is on the extreme left outside the list. Okay. No. While the number you just generated if it is greater than one, okay, or if it has at least in the range, there are at least two elements. So, what is uh, uh, fib one, one, fib two, one, fib three, two? Okay, so how many are there in the range? At least one. So, if fib m is greater than one, okay, then then you find out index i. Okay, index i is start plus. A minimum of Fibonacci numbers in the range that is fib m minus two. Okay, and for the highest one, n minus one. So you take you take the lowest of the two or minimum of the two. You take the minimum of the two to start with. Now, if our key is greater than is greater than array i, then then so go to go to next lower Fibonacci number okay and and you reset your start to i so removing the lower range else else if e is less than array i okay you go further down Okay, otherwise, when do you go to otherwise when key equal array i? Return, return, return i. Okay. Okay, now if, if, if m minus 1, which is a Fibonacci number less than fibm. If it is not equal to zero and and the array at offset array at start array at start is equal to x is equal to x this is checking for boundary cases return return offset or start okay so if nothing works, return minus one. Okay. Now it needs one more function. 
that is Fibonacci generated. You want nth Fibonacci number? I have just seen if n is if n is less than or equal to one, return return n. Okay. Otherwise, what do you return? Return n minus one the term plus n minus n minus two term. Okay. So you use this in search. Is application of Fibonacci series. Fine. Let us run this. Oh, no spelling mistakes. No syntax mistakes. So it is, it is at position eight. Okay. Let us search for a number outside this range. It should return minus one. Okay, x is not defined. So this is not x. Where is x? This is key. This is key. Okay. Now I'm searching for 101. Expected output is minus one because it's not not in the list. Okay. Now uh, let us search for let us search for say five. Is also not part of the list. The less than lower limit, lower limit. Okay, you got minus one. Let us search for something which is part of the list. So let us search for thirty-five. Not part of the list. So within the range. Um, I should change this to thirty-five. Okay, I'm I'm proving that it works for all test cases. 35. Okay, it's again minus one. So it is working absolutely fine. This is faster than binary search. This is called golden search. This is one of the applications of Fibonacci series and and implementation of divide and conquer as well. Okay, so please go through it and do it a couple of times. Do it a couple of times to understand it better. Okay. To understand this better, you do it a couple of times. Okay, so this is I just reduce the size to show you entire entire routine in one screen. Okay, fifth set uses Fibonacci generator. Okay, alternative to fifth search, sorry, binary search, and faster than binary search. So I hope you understand it. Thanks for watching.